Hi Preschool. This story is Dinosaur Woods by George McClements. Can seven clever critters save their forest home? This sign here. The sign says future home of another plastic tree factory. Clearing starts in four days. That means in four days they're going to start knocking down the trees in the animal's forest. Let's meet some of our animal friends. We have Richard, Rachel, Milton, Jimbo, Nat, Luke, and Rojo. In four days, seven friends were going to lose their home. This troubled them greatly. They tried to speak to the people responsible. Oops, oh. um, could we chat? Hello up there. Knock, knock. Anybody home? But for some reason, no one would listen to them. What are we going to do, asked Luke. We have tried everything. I know, said Rojo, but we can't give up. We need something new, something big, something amazing. So the friends started thinking, and thinking, and thinking, until Rojo was struck with an idea. Actually, it was a piece of paper. Come see the amazing dinosaurs' lifelike robotics. Truly the most special animals to have walked the earth, says Paul Leontologist at the Mesozoic Magazine. They're the cat's meow, says Hey Daddio of Old Slang Weekly. These dinosaurs will, sh will surely add some pizzazz to your day, says Snappy Fingers, the lounge singer chimes. This is only at the Big Time Convention Center. That's it, Rojo cried. We'll build a dinosaur. There's no way they'll tear down our home if they think a dinosaur lives here. Everyone agreed. Their friend spent the rest of the day collecting materials. Sticks, leaves, vines, logs, and borrowed burlap. They borrowed it from the plastic tree company. Then Rojo spent the next 36 hours working in total secrecy. Do I hear power tools? Yep, big ones. The dinosaur was finished. How does it work, asked Jimbo. It's easy, said Rojo. First, we climb in, second, we take our pre-assigned stations, and third, we scare away the guys on the bulldozers. Look, said Luke, someone's coming. The two men making their final demolition check entered the clearing. Quick, everyone, take your stations, shouted Rojo, and the men were talking as they were walking. They said, so we get rid of that tree, that one, that one, basically all of them. They're going to cut down every single tree in the forest. Rojo took a deep breath. He crossed his fingers and then he roared a terrible roar. It worked. The men ran for their lives. Yikes, we got to tell somebody. As word of the dinosaurs spread, scientists and news crews from around the world flocked to the tiny patch of woods. This is great, said Rojo. Nothing can go wrong now. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, uh-oh. The rabbits are fighting. Luke says, I think I'm overheating. Really? And that's when it did. Something went wrong. It was chaos inside the dinosaur. But the biggest problem came when Rojo failed to notice 
a cable on the ground. It even says it, look, biggest problem. Crash! When the dust cleared, the friends found themselves surrounded by cameras and clipboards. Get ready for some shouting, said Rojo. And he was right. There was shouting. Excited shouting. A big mouth jinx fox. A bronchial woodpecker. A Himalayan frost bear. Crabby faced punching rabbits. A left footed klutz deer. Well, that makes sense why he kept falling. And a drop tail adder. He kept losing his rattle. It turned out that the friends were something called endangered, and in Milton's case, extinct. An important scientist declared the tiny patch of woods a protected site, and she named it Dinosaur Woods. So in the end, the small group of friends did have something to save their home. It wasn't new, it wasn't big, but it was amazing. And Roja said, I knew it all along. They had each other. And here they are playing. Rojo says, ready or not, here I come. And their forest was safe. Build your own dinosaur. No power tools necessary. Pretty interesting if you wanted to build a dinosaur. I hope you enjoyed that story, preschool friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye.